Not a bad result. It's Tour Truck Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit notify. This might be one of the best videos I'm bringing to you, the most informative videos I'm bringing to you. It is about a data product called Clipped that covers every single part of your golf game, every interaction you have with your golf game. There is a reason I'm here in the Kikuya at Twin Oaks. I put myself in a situational position and I'm hitting around the green rough golf shot long and feel it that's a beauty something I've massively been working on but why why have I been working on this for the simple reason that when I get into the clip data I know as I look at what to work on and we're gonna dive deeper in this in today's video this comes up in weaknesses as a high opportunity and I need the trend of my shot quality to improve what is shot quality how do you know that what is it telling you it's using AI to show me that this area can help me. Shot quality is a number that Clipped will give you. A perfect golf shot here, if I was to hold this from this lie, would be a 200. But where does that live? How do those shots score? If I'm a tour player and I'm looking at around the greens and I get into this and I go back to my own personal dashboard, currently today is a live look. I'm on 73. That is terrible. I've trended the wrong way when it comes to my short game. I've not put enough attention into it. Tour average is going to be 100 for this area. So if you can get a shot quality of every Everything you hit around here and get it closer to 100, you're going to be around the likes of the Colin Morikawa's, the Rory McIlroy's level of short game. Yes, you have to improve your toolbox. Point is, is that this has been an area for me identified through data as to what I need to work on. And for a player of my quality, let's spend some time here. So one of the great things about Clipped, what to work on. This is me as a player now. 45% of the game, the importance for scoring for me, comes down to putting. 7% around the greens, but we know that a weakness for me, and you can see it for here, around the greens, rough, high opportunity, but it's only 5% importance. Imagine now you don't have much time to practice. You're looking at an area of your golf clubs, or you think you want to go and see a professional to get a golf lesson. Now we can see putting importance, 15%. It's high on working on those three to eight footers. People who know me, I tend to grind out quite a bit on my putting. There's why I use the arm lock putter that I use. I look at the face rotation a lot, all to make sure that that stays in a good area. Then next one, importance, 14% opportunity high, approach play, 140 to 180 yards. Let's head down the fairway and check that out. 31% opportunity with my game. Importance to scoring is going to be on this 140 to 180 yard area. This one surprised me. As we have a look deeper into those stats, let's go with the one year trend. And you can start to see that I was much higher about a year ago, dropped off significantly, had a couple of iron changes that have been documented in here, trying to find the right golf shaft for me. As we look at all of this, I can then go deeper into it. I can go 140 to 160. You can see the trend is going the right way. I go 160 to 180 and it's starting to drop a little bit more. All good information. Your squat shot quality range in here. Number of shots that have been down in that zero to 40 area, which is terrible. And then ones that are 120 plus. Remember shot quality. If we go back again to just look at our dashboard and go into area of approach, your shot quality right now for your player quality is 84 and your tour average remains 100. The trends and the deeper dive you can see here going down. Notice this graph going for the green accuracy from the fairway and I've 25% of my misses to the right. This is over a last year trend and left is 13%. So here for me I've got a hanging lie. There's the first thing you've got to take. This is going to push me toward that right miss. Equipment wise maybe I could look at lie angles. Swing wise working with my coach we could talk about why is the miss right but also you want to consider your start lines and what are you going for pay more attention to that 13% goes long zero goes short if I go from the rough that long number goes up to 25% but also that right number goes up to 75% with nothing being left so you can take all this information that's great for you to study
study and learn. Now when you're faced with this golf shot, you grab out your Sky Caddy, which I've talked to you about in previous videos. Now you can place the pin, but all of a sudden, all this information becomes valuable. Look, there's a little trap down there to the right that I want to look out for. The flag is on the right. I want to carry that, but I would probably take my start line into this green, 153 to the front, 182 long, 162 to the flag. I'd probably take my start line a little left and let it drift. As it's a fade, I'm going to grab a seven iron, but look just to cut one in off the left not worry off this slope, which I might have done prior to this, about trying to help this golf ball move from left to right. Let's just let it drift because missing right is the issue. We know that. This is an area we want to improve on. So target line, I'm going to go literally for the tree behind the green that sits there. And I'm going to just let this drift. Down our target line, yardage should be good. Distance is good. Turf interaction was good. Take the feedback you get from there, but know that when you go and do your practice session, that shot quality is pretty bang on for your target. You hit your target, you've changed your start line based on knowing that your miss is to the right. It's all key information that's gonna help you become a much better player. Putting was listed as a key part of my game. It's 45% the importance to scoring for me. It's an area that I've improved at significantly and it's all as a result of this clip product. I've been using this now for about a year. Three to eight feet is gonna be 15% importance. I literally only practice from three to eight or eight to 15 because you've got 13% importance for that. As you get further away, the impact for me becomes less. You're looking at 4% importance when you get to 35 plus feet. It's important that I work on face control. Again, my practice, which I can log in clipped, I've very much been doing around face control and making sure that I've got a good cadence to my stroke. The reason I use the arm lock putter as I touched on and I'm where I'm at is all based on data. Why would we guess what we can measure? So obviously this one here is a long one. We're going down the hill. Read wise, I wouldn't be too worried about it, but it's a really good opportunity because I can also tell as I dive into those stats that I can be quite conservative on pace. So one of the things I push myself to do is to ensure that I can reach the hole as I dive deeper into my putting dynamics, I know that read-wise, I have a tendency on left to righters to miss to the right. So I might factor that in for the break. And again, speed-wise, I think it's more important because I'm a little conservative. So then on these left to righters, it tends to drop off a little bit more. So we're trying to get the pace to get, force myself to get past that golf hole roll one down and I'd never be too annoyed at myself if I just tend to go past the golf hole. It means I gave it a chance to go in, I missed it on the high side. That's my first part of the day here, but I can adjust the speed as needed. But it's all data that I haven't had to do anything to improve. Yes, if I capture the data and I record my practice sessions, it helps the AI on clip as me as a player. But on the same note, just by having that information makes me become a better golfer. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. It is one of the most important ones. I said it at the top that I've brought to you. The clip product, to learn more about it, head down into the description. All the information is there. This is factual stuff that is giving you a real live look at your golf game. It's used by the NCAA players all across the United States, covering over 3,500 golf tournaments now for the ranking system college golfers of tomorrow are using. If they're using it, you should be considering it too. Get on the data, look at it over the next few months. As we come to hit the 2024 season, you'll be better informed to make those club decisions and game decisions to help you improve.